What's up with everybody? It's your boy Mookie Jones. Uh, we got a great episode for y'all today, man. And before we get into this episode, uh, subscribe to us on our playback, man. We're live there on playback, watching the games live and free. Uh, we will be live there watching the game tonight. So go over there to subscribe to our playback. I think we we're close to a thousand playback members. So let's salute to everybody that's going over there and watching over there and playback. Um, but uh, Angel Reese once again took a jab at Caitlin Clark. Um, as y'all know, man, Caitlin Clark is the most popular WNBA basketball player of all time. Uh, she's global. Uh, she's iconic. Um, this girl is just entertaining to watch. I, I, I said on numerous accounts that I have never seen a female athlete like Caitlin Clark, especially in a basketball perspective, right? Um, galvanize the people, be able to get a, a wide audience and a bigger fan base to come over there and watch her play um, at a college level with that, that then produced to her being the most watched uh, women's finals game in college, better than the men's and better than the women. Um, she is breaking nothing but records. Um, I mean, her ratings and her viewerships is better than some of the NBA players, right? Even some of the NBA players can't get these uh, ratings and the viewership the way that Caitlin LeCar can do, right? And I've just made it simple that, bruh, she's the most skilled basketball player of all time, especially for a woman's basketball player of all time. Um, no no other woman has her skill. No other woman has her range. And that's why I sat there and said that this girl is just iconic and what she's doing for the WNBA is crazy. Do y'all know that Caitlin Clark, ladies and gentlemen, have changed the WNBA uh, girls' lives? Um, they find Charter. Uh, they used to fire commercial. Uh, she's getting sponsorship deals um, handed to the girls' uh, direction. Um, the WNBA this season is breaking nothing but records. Caitlin Clark has three of the most watched games since 2002. Um, this girl is just iconic. She's crazy. And like I said there and said, man, um, she's entertaining to watch. She, The fact that I am on Rated R Sports Base is producing WNBA content because of Caitlin Clark speaks for itself, man. Um, she getting man willing to bet on these games. She's getting man willing to watch these games. Female little girls is willing to watch this game as well because how iconic and how galvanized she is. But that comes haters, right? That comes people that are jealous. And when we're looking at Angela Reese, she's just jealous. When you're looking at Diana Taurasi, jealous. Sue Bird, jealous. Uh, Cheryl Suits, jealous, right? All these women that's jealous on one girl when she's elevating the sports. What happened to female empowerment? What happened to standing up, stand up for every female? What happened to, oh, we 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 want to get paid the same as the men's and we want equality and we want the same rights as men's and why nobody want to watch us like the men's when our lead is talented? But you got a female and a and a, and a girl that is that is about to make your sport a profit since. Y'all was invented, and you're then hating on her. You're then bringing her down. It just doesn't make no sense to me, bro. And at the end of the day, um, this is terrible, man. So, why I made this video today? I made this video because Caitlin, um, and I'm, I'm sorry, but Caitlin Clark is getting dissed again, bro. She's getting dissed again. Um, Angela Reese, right, came out there and threw a subliminal diss to Caitlin Clark once again. So, after Angela Reese win. I guess the New York Liberty as well. Um, she came out there and went on Twitter and said, and that's how you're getting a win in a packed arena, not just because of one player on our charter flight. She basically just sitting there and just hating, bruh. Um, Angela Reese is just nothing but a hater, and she's always been jealous of Caitlin Clark, bruh. This is just embarrassment, bruh. And like I sat there and said last night on the pod, I sat there and said that, Black women are hating on Caitlyn Clark because they're jealous of Caitlyn Clark, right? And when you see all these women that sitting there saying that the only reason Caitlyn Clark is big because number one, she's white and and she's a she's not a lesbian. When meanwhile, you know, you have other white players that are white and they're not lesbian as well, and not get the popularity that Caitlyn Clark gets is just doesn't make sense to, you know, uh, it's not adding up. You know what I'm saying? And it just doesn't make sense for Angela Reese to sit there and throw slim on distance to Caitlin Clark, a girl that is the reason why everybody knows you, right? Like, if it wasn't for Caitlin Clark and that rivalry that y'all produced, like, nobody wouldn't know you, Angela Reese. That's a fact, bro. So, you sitting there saying that your, you know, your game was packed. It was not Caitlin Clark packed, right? Um, 
But I don't know why you're running your mouth and, and dissing Caitlin Clark when at the end of the day, Caitlin Clark has been better than you in the WNBA. You're shooting like 36% from the field and you're like a forward or a center, right? That is bad. When you look at Caitlin Clark, her, her true shooting percentage is like 58% and she averaging, what, 18.2 points per game. So what I'm saying is this is that it's just knowing your role. Like she's the reason why y'all fire and charter. She is the reason why... Um, that everybody takes the WNBA serious. She's the reason why everybody's watching, right? And at the end of the day, bro, her just going below the belt once again and dissing Caitlin Clark, it just proves you how jealous these women are actually are. Like, these women are jealous of other women. Um, these women, ladies and gentlemen, bro, um, you know, they just, they're not, they're not, you know, together like they was once said it was or the narrative that was, they just not, bro. Just I hate one another, bro. Party and who gets the more attention? Just petty. They petty. Just like Charles Barkley sat there and said. So uh, I'm not shocked. Um, this is what they're going to continue to do with hate on Caitlyn Clark. But um, all Caitlyn Clark is going to do is just prove the doubters and the haters wrong. She's going to elevate the sport. She's going to put money in your pockets, Angela Reese, right? And she's going to make the sport be relevant, uh, relevant again. So it, it is what it is, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. This is your boy Mookie Jones. I'm out, gang. Okay.